we had a chance here to work with Ed Harris, who ordinarily wouldn't do TV. Ed is a, a movie star. He's an extremely talented actor. And uh, I've had a relationship with him that goes back to the time when I wrote The Stand. Uh, George Romero and I made a film called Creep Show, and uh, Ed Harris had worked with George in a, in a previous film. It was his first starring role. That was a, a motorcycle guys uh, become um, Knights of the Round Table. The movie was called Night Riders, and Ed played the head biker, and he and George formed a good relationship, and I worked a little bit on that picture as an actor. And... Uh, so later, years later, after he had done a part in Creepshow, um, Mick and I asked him if he would do uh, uh, the general in um, The Stand. And Ed said he would. And the way that actors generally do this is they appear uncredited. Um, there's another uh, interesting cameo appearance by an uncredited actor a little bit later on in the stand. What I remember about Ed is how shocked we all were when he showed up uh, bald-headed. But of course, he never had too much on top anyway, and finally he decided <laughs> to get ahead of the curl a little bit and uh, to shave it all off. And this is a look that people have gotten used to, but it made its, its debut in the stand. He did a terrific job, but a lot of the actors did. You know, I think that one of the key elements in the stand was finding somebody who could really spearhead that, that uh, feeling that I talked about before of the common man. Um, I wanted somebody, if possible, that would have the, uh, the stature of, of uh, Henry Fonda in The Grapes of Wrath. And I think we were very lucky to get Gary Sinise to play the lead. Uh, he turned in a performance to Stu Redman that's my favorite in the, in the work that I've written. You're dead. Contact with townspeople was minimal. It doesn't matter. We gotta shut that town down, lock it up, dig a moat around it. That operation's already on the launching pad, sir. What kind of coverage you come up with? Anthrax. New strain. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's a new one, all right. It's real new. It's very good at its job, too. Too good. Well, it's bad, General, but it could be worse. <laughs> How's that? What's the name of this town? Arnett. Arnett, Texas. Boy, man, it's